Welcome back everybody, Farm and Dog here, continuing our Alan Wake playthrough. We are heading to the uh, coal mine, as you just heard. Can I drive that? Little by little, without realizing it, yeah. I come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the Dark Presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real, but it matched a textbook case of insanity. I'm not gonna argue with that, Alan. You seem batshit crazy to me. <laughs> this truck, it's all or nothing. I was just curious, there's anything over there, now I gotta get the hell out of here. Wasn't me. Hope they were insured. <laughs> Can I get out? Let's just get out and see if something's up there. Or maybe I've been here before and I don't remember. This is Pat Main and you're listening to Yeah, this is probably the one I've been at before. I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was <laughs> it's talking about FBI agent Nightingale. Oh, whoops. Well, that might have been me. Let's see if there's anything in the building. Or have I been here before as well? Well, I'm going to say if there's nothing up here, then there's nothing anywhere. There we go. For Mott, spying on the writer on the ferry had been a disappointment. His boss had made Wake Out to be something special, but Mott hadn't been impressed. He'd gotten a good long look up the wife, though, and he liked what he saw. Mott had fantasized about goading Wake into a fight, but it hadn't happened. Still, he'd get his chance to see if the writer had anything in him. He'd been promised as much. And I'm guessing I missed a whole lot of them. So maybe I should have ran. <laughs> Not drove. Or at least stop some more. Ooh. <laughs> 
truck might be a little worse for the wear, it looks like. <laughs> Radiator might have an issue or two. <laughs> Them damn fins kept jumping out in front of me. I'm even a rebel. Look at that. I didn't park in the visitor's parking. I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. Uh, that's fine. It's fine. While lucrative at first, the mining steadily declined in the 20th century. The seams were rich but hard to get at, and the volcanic activity in the area made the mine shafts particularly dangerous. While there were some earlier residents in the area, the true genesis of the town of Bright Falls came with the founding of the Bright Falls Mining Company and the opening of the Bright Falls Coal Mine in 1878. Although the work was hard and dangerous, many immigrants, Germans, Poles, Italians, Finns, and Swedes, among others, worked the mines. With Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants Wake for a reason, and it's not for anything good. In 1970, a volcanic eruption below Cauldron Lake, while relatively minor, caused most of the deep mining tunnels to collapse or flood. 32 miners lost their lives in the calamity, and all the mining around Bright Falls came to a final stop. Now many of the remaining buildings are protected as historic landmarks. That's pretty good. They're in pretty good condition. Side. Cops had to be looking for me. The noon sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back. <laughs> or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. Well, it doesn't matter because I'm sure... The Taken are showing up. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. Wake, where the hell are you? Change of plans. You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? And fuck you. I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello? Ah! I'm gonna kill him. No, you're not. I had to get to Mirror Peak. Really? It's locked now? Maybe closer than ever before.
So how in the hell do I get out of here then? Leave the building, yeah, no shit. There's all something flashing green over there. Besides, let him in. <laughs> Manuscript, read it. Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jagger. It happened fast. She was young, vibrant and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. Lots of ammo. Reload. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like them at all. I will take the flashbang, so. Flashlight, charge up faster than that. I definitely feel like that's gonna come alive, or whatever the hell it does when it flungs at you. Yeah. 
Anything over here? No. Ladder. What the hell is that? I gotta climb up the damn ladder, don't I? Come on, heal up. What the hell? It's a good question. I don't want to know. Hurry up and heal up. <laughs> I don't want to know at all. Like it. Oh my. The only way to reach the hillside ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. to shut something off here. Come on. Is that it? 
I definitely feel like I don't want the power to turn off though. That's... Cause now, hurry up, get in there. Run, buddy, run. Whew. See you later. I don't remember getting the shotgun, but I'll take it. Or is it a rifle? Once again, I'm going to ask how these stupid kidnappers got all the way up here without any issue. Come on. The flashlight lasts longer, but I also feel like it takes longer to charge. here we'll have one flashbang ready I feel like there's some better yet we'll have a uh, flare ready flare guns. Trust no one in the dark. <laughs> uh, 
awful lot of walking being done up here. Follow. I don't want to follow. Some of the Taken retained echoes of their former selves, but these were just the nerve twitches of a dead thing. Nothing remained but a shell covered and filled with darkness. In most cases, these puppets were enough for the purposes of the Dark Presence. But for anything more elaborate, as with the writer, it was different. It needed his mind. And so rather than taking him over completely, it merely touched him. And as usual, then no way back. Broken staircase. Batteries are reached, is that it? What am I opening? Oh, the fence. Can I walk through there? <laughs> There was no way the flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment. I'm not going to argue with that at all. But I have no idea how the power company uh, in Washington works, so who am I to judge? Maybe weirdo shadows, shadows is something they do all the time. Ah, crap. I gotta watch the ground. Now... If I let these things just go by, if I go by them, do they follow me like the blob? Just curious. I hate those big guys. I can't even see that stupid guy and he's freaking chucking those axes at me. Whoops, I didn't want to use two of them, but <laughs> whoopsie. Let's hope they didn't come back and bite me in the ass.
Come on, dudes. Where the hell are you at? I stared through the bars of the jail cell. Barry stood behind me, swaying on his feet, looking as ill as I felt. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bars with Sheriff Breaker. Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. He seemed unhinged as he gloated. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. Who the hell is Raymond Chandler? Well, there's that thumb. That usually means there's some taken running around here. Anything up here? Any yellow? Because I feel like we are about due. stuff I hate those big guys. <laughs> big old hosses. Pick up the goodies. Alright guys, but on that note, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I want to thank everybody for watching. I'll talk to you later.